I don't, know, I don't know what I can say. I literally don't know what I can say because if I say this stuff, you guys are genuinely going to be like in shock. Guys, I'm literally on my way to a house viewing. I'm going by myself, so I feel like if I actually like the place, then I'm definitely going to put a deposit down. But also, the fact that I'm by myself is kind of concerning. I'm a very indecisive person. Like, I'll be going to a restaurant and asking all my friends which food item to choose from because I can't pick myself. So, is this going to be a good idea? Probably not, but maybe it's good because I'm bringing you guys. But then again, by the time I've uploaded this vlog, I might be living there. So, that's concerning. I'm scared. I'm very scared because I'm going through a lot and... And I'm about to be really independent and I just ain't ready. Like, I ain't ready for a reason. So yeah, welcome to the vlog. Um, This is actually going to be a really sad vlog. And I'm, I'm probably never, ever going to watch this back because it will probably make me sad. Until I've, like, got my life together, if you if that makes any sense. So, future Kami, if you're watching this, I hope you're with your friends watching it and you're smiling. 23-minute drive, baby. Let's do it. Yee -yee. I deserve to die. I've just pulled up to the location. It's actually not that bad. Like, I was driving around and I was analyzing the people. There was one crackhead. But then again, like, where... You're gonna get a crackhead wherever you go. And I was like, oh, that's calm. Like, it'll literally feel like I'm back in Ealing. Like, because there's loads of crackheads there. Myself included, obviously. I'm about to walk out and, like, have a walk around and just see how I feel. I'm nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, it's so early as well. I'm saying that, but it's 2 p.m. But I'm pretty sure Alma has COVID. Like, it's so jarring. But actually, I probably shouldn't say that online. Okay, anyways, um, I'm gonna go walk around. My viewing's in 20 minutes. So, oh, I have to buy a ticket. Oh, but. I'm, I'm liking the vibe. I'm outside the house waiting for the woman to come see me now. It's interesting, you know, the roads aren't even bad. Like, I'm actually kind of liking the area. I'm kind of thinking about it. And I'm like trying to imagine myself being here. There's also an Italian restaurant, a legit 0.1 mile walk away from my house as well. Like, if that isn't screaming, calm me, move here. Don't really know what else is. I'll literally update you in like two seconds, like in the next clip. So wish me luck. Yeah, I think I'm depressed. I went in there and I was like, Ugh. sorry. I went in there and I was like, oh, this could actually work. And then I kept walking around. It was really small and it's not, I don't know. The area is like not doing it for me. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was fine, but it's not. And yeah, I'm genuinely depressed now. I just want to start crying. Not this being the first song to come on in my car and it be pouring of rain outside. Like this is genuinely the worst day I've ever had in my life. It's come to our attention that we actually need to start moving our stuff, hence why our house be looking like this. It's gonna be a long day. Oh, it's nice to know what Elmo does with his presents when he meets you guys. Yeah, he leaves it in a suitcase under the staircase. <laughs> Elmo, someone wrote you a whole ass book and it's just like under the stairs. Elmo with that COVID hit. Elmo got that new strain. <laughs> Try smiling, imagine how you're gonna feel after. Ready? Three, two, one. Bro, just smile. <laughs> He's really sad about moving. It was his decision on why we're moving, so... <laughs> Don't believe a word this kid says on the internet, honestly. Millie hasn't done any cleaning up. Uh, you just started, G. Gotta start somewhere, G. Gotta start on the camera. Oh, we've been cleaning all day. Oh, we have, bro. Back to work anyway. Millie arrived! Uh-oh, we ain't doing this. <laughs> Uh-oh, we ain't doing this right now. So, Elmer just ordered us Burger's Kitchen. Wait, what's it called? Gourmet Burger Kitchen. What up, bitch? <laughs> Hashtag gifted all of this, Loki. Uh, what's the guy's name? Oh, he's put to pee on the Oh yeah, Elmo leaked all over the house. I don't know if you can see, but like, oh, he pissed himself watching a video or something. Mm. Millie, you just sat in my seat. Mm, don't see your name on it, bitch. Millie, can you get out, please? <laughs> they already seen me today. Uh, he hasn't showered yet. Dusty, boy. Dusty. I'm dusty. I'm busy. I've been doing things today. Dusty, you. Dusty. Mommy does actually have things, so he doesn't shower. It's stinky. What did he say? Nothing. I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> It. He's got mayonnaise on my camera. Ew. What the darn it? Elmo! Millie, can you actually get out my seat? I need to eat here. Why is the taxi driver still here? Traxi? Why is the taxi driver still here? I think he called me. But shouldn't he just knock on the door? I have more ownership over this seat because I paid. <laughs> um, <laughs> King! King back from America! Last time in the house, bro. Shit. Yeah, Millie poops in the shower and it goes all in the drains and turns the whole house out. Only you guys can smell through the camera, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look smelly? No, fishy. No, no, fishy. You look fishy, but then you smell dirty. Nah, I feel like pooey, fishy. I'm not pooey, Millie's pooey. <laughs> Fishy. No, I'm beefy. I'm beefy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, beefy. Definitely like. God, no, Spencer's like chickeny. Okay, like a parry chicken. Millie's like tuna. Millie's like if you leave tuna in your fridge for like three weeks. Do you know when you like okay. shit your pants? <laughs> this is a big mark. I did that the other day. What did he say? Oh. Millie's blasting her music in there. She getting ready for tonight. Woo! Party! Woo! 
congrats on winning Mill. Yeah, congratulations on your pussy. She got a new pussy over there. She got it like Tyson. <laughs> okay, that's enough today. Oh my god! Elmo! Uh, I'm gonna miss this. <laughs> Let me get my fucking hat on or something. <laughs> not his hairline, not his hairline. <laughs> you got nits? Huh? You got nits? Yeah, I got crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Last night at the house fight. Yeah. Just chill <laughs> Little crack monster. Yes. Just Millie just cozy. won three grand gambling. Uh, <laughs> you gonna buy like a penny bag or something like that. Uh, <laughs> Wait, but I still got my ponytail in. <laughs> 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 oh shit, my ponytail. Oh. <laughs> How it looks. Like <laughs> She's like a walking king. Like. Oh my god, Kirsty, relax. <laughs> I'm sh <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I posted a story holding hands with my girlfriend. My story earlier. Oh, mad. What? <laughs> Just kidding. I was really. Wait, I don't get it. I've been waiting. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Finger that pussy, bitch. You remember that? No. <laughs> I went for that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's still telling me not to put it in. Then you get to clip of us saying, don't put it in. It ain't even like that. It ain't even like that. Don't put it in. I'm a director and the power of editing, it will never make you look bad, trust. I'm not trying to even gas myself, but like, I deserve a pat on the back for that one. Shit. That's all I heard today. It's like, ow. Can you have a morning coffee and steak at the new flat? Good morning coffee, steak and shag. <laughs> what is going on? These guys are gonna be roommates. And they were roommates. At this stage, I thought we were sharing. Wait, how would? Yeah, like, so what are you guys gonna do with the spare room? And we we're like, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, when walks. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should get back to the so Harold Ali can be like fashion friends. I do miss her, Loki. Mm, that was <laughs> boring. <laughs> I couldn't name a cooler I think my favorite was apart. I think Chess no. is my favorite. My favorite was Haz. Oh, Haz yeah. is nice. Haz is like underrated. Haz is underrated. She would have like a slow burner. Apparently you're horrible to Haz. What? Yeah, she was speaking to me about it yesterday. Apparently you were the only one that said something bad about it, but it's something to do with Kira, so I don't know. Stinky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you go to open your mouth and read those comedy vloggings, you just don't say it. Billy also standing there with her camera the yeah, slide yeah, three. Yeah, She's so <laughs> sly. Guys, it's our last night. How's everyone feeling? Oh, she pipes up. I'm sad, but also the happiness is taking over the sadness in a good way because we sent off so many memories in this house. So. Like, this was a trap house. The amount of <laughs> and Loki weird shit we had. Not between us, but. Me and Jamie having sex last night. No. <laughs> oh, I did walk in on them today and it was really awkward, yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't walk in like that. I didn't know they were here. I thought they were in the hotel room and then I. I Does he give good head? <laughs> Why is Gary always giggling? <laughs> My stepdad's called Gary. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Your what is that? Oh, my oh, God. oh, shit! All it takes is one look back. Yo, this would be a peak last night if you stabbed him in the skull. Right? No, that would make memories. If he didn't die, obviously. Yeah, I'm a little bit hungover. My parents are about to come around now and help me move my bed and stuff. It's official, guys. I'm literally moving out today. That's so sad. Well, I'm not really feeling that sad, to be honest. I'm feeling kind of excited now, but, like, it's obviously going to be sad leaving this house. Like, I've made too many memories here just to, like, kind of give up. Yeah, rip to the trap house. Gonna miss this place. Damn, so this is what my room is looking like when my bed isn't here. Obviously, this is still here, but Frank's about to take it downstairs. Uh, um, yeah, my room be looking uh, messy. The end of an era. Touch the Frank! Yeah. Touch the Frank back! You were in the start of my moving in vlog and now and you're- And I'm finishing Yeah, it. you're finished. It's been a pleasure, mate. Now we start the next era. Yeah, scary. New chapter, so new beginnings. New chapter, mate. Let's go. This is the end of the house. Yeah. End of an era and it's actually been an amazing two and a half, three years, guys. And I can wish to have lived with ever, everyone better than <laughs> you guys. It's whenever he tries to be nice. Oh my god, I <laughs> I literally, I tried being nice, it didn't work. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, we're um, we're about to go. I'm gonna miss you guys. It's been a crazy three years that we lived here. No, I don't have a go at it. Huh? Ben. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always got a close ear for you. I always say I'll do it, but I won't. <laughs> well, that's kind of sad, you know. Yeah. Three years we almost lived here. It's been nice knowing you. Nice to know you. Um, so like, give it a year. I don't year. think you're invited in that hand. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are you clammy, Millie? Me? Just Me gotta too. say one more thing. Clammy? Yeah, well, yeah. You think my hands are clammy? It's Elmo, it's Elmo, relax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you f***ing smelly bastard. Why smelly you smell bastard. like that? Why do you smell like that? Well, 
here is the end result of my room. Probably could cry, but I'm just gonna be positive for some reason. I feel like I have way other things to be like more sad about, but I'm here for the new beginnings. I've gone through so much um, in the past month and a half, two months with a lot of things in my life and it's just changed probably for the best. I'm not gonna get upset or anything. I'm here for the beginnings and the future. Don't know why I did that. Meanwhile, Millie on the other hand is not packed and her room literally be looking the same. R.I.P. to LL House. Oh, R.I.P. that pussy, yay! Oh, this is so sad, man. Look at it. Feels different. Yeah, feels like it's not ours anymore. Yeah, the energy is... I feel like this place will always be ours, though, key. If you live here now, watch watch our New Year's Eve vlog. The whole house got trashed. Just a little bit. Here's a few flips. We ain't getting that deposit back. We ain't getting nothing back. Well... It feels kind of weird to be here. You, well, to be fair, let me be real here. Um, I'm in my old room. I'm at my family home. You've probably just watched this whole video. And it's been two weeks since, like, all of that video was filmed. It was a mess, I know. Um, I'm finally out here living at home. I haven't really been here, to be honest. Everyone's pretty much moved out. And I've literally been staying at my friends' houses. From, like, I've literally been going from house to house. Like, I've been sofa surfing, as you can call it. Like, I'd be surfing for it. I was editing this video. And I watched back Millie and Spencer's moving out videos. And I was like, oh, they didn't speak about, like, the whole reason on why we've moved out. I think Millie was the main person on why we never spoke about anything was because she's a girl. And I guess, like, if someone... Okay, it's gonna sound really, really confusing. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but ages ago, we used to get a lot of people come into our house. And we lived in a really, really weird house. We lived in, like, an okay area. Like, it wasn't actually that bad. Our drive was always hidden because the houses we used to live in, fans always managed to come to the house and would genuinely be at our front door every day i would not leave unless we got pictures with them like it was actually wild like it was mad but yeah i thought i would just come on here and actually explain the reasoning on why we've moved out because technically we had three years in that house but we had to move out like seven months early and the reason we had to move out early was because shh, the the amount of stuff that we have never spoken about on the internet is an absolute joke like living in that house was so intense and scary because what uh actually i'm not gonna be uh, I don't, know, I don't know what I can say. I literally don't know what I can say because if I say this stuff, you guys are genuinely going to be like in shock. I shouldn't speak about it, to be honest. It makes us look like we actually do not care. Like we lived our lives in fear, but because we were always in fear, we genuinely had like no F to give. We could have genuinely been murdered in our sleep. And like there isn't anything anyone could have done about it. Like we were so unreliable. Like I can't, like it's probably, it's probably a good thing that we're actually moving out of that house. But either way, loads of stuff happened. We had so many stalkers coming to the house where at one one point Millie burst into tears because this, this random group of men kept shouting her name from like the downstairs window that was probably one of the most terrifying things another terrifying thing was when I had my bag stolen with all of my stuff in it and the guy that stole my bag ended up coming back to our house and tried stealing my car I don't freaking know he saw the CCTV camera and ended up never coming back we did in fact have to get so many CCTV cameras all around our house because that's what our landlord said and like the government or someone we spoke to a lot of people about the situations we were going through that I can't even fully speak about. But yeah, just wanted to come on here and say the reason we had to move out was genuinely because the amount of scary people that would turn up to our house at 3 a.m. Can I add? Like, we're YouTubers. We barely ever slept at normal times. So imagine just being in your kitchen and you're seeing someone outside your window. Do you know how terrifying it was? Like, we barely had curtains in the house either. It was a pretty open house with a lot of windows. Like, watch back our old vlogs and see for yourself. Like, it was a horrible vibe. Like, the house was cold. It was huge. Like, it was scary. It was terrifying. It does actually feel quite good being in a safe environment, I guess. But it is actually quite sad that me, Millie, and Spencer aren't together anymore but we i've literally been with them like every day so nothing's actually changed um apart from the fact that we haven't even been living together and like also it's a good thing we've moved out because like, i haven't once thought about being in that house i genuinely thought i was gonna wake up and like miss it but it's been over two and a half weeks and i don't I haven't missed it yet. Probably for the best. I can't really go into that much detail, but we can never ever speak about uh, the reason why we were moving out because this was a huge process for us. We could not move out of our house. Our landlord genuinely was not believing us that we were getting stalked. Luckily for us, we are all psychos. So whenever we would see some scary shit, we would whip out our Snapchats and record it. So we had enough footage to tell our landlord and then he gave us the right to move out. But oh my God, when I tell you, it took freaking months. We've been trying to move out for the past nine, 10, months like it's been horrible quite scary because like me Millie, and spencer are barely showing where we're moving to and like we're probably i don't even know what we're gonna do about the the moving in vlogs and stuff because we don't know how much we're gonna be able to put in without having that fear of people or the same people finding out where we live and shit oh it's 
And imagine being on your own now. That's the only thing I'm kind of scared for. Hence why at the start of the video I didn't show anything or the area. So we never wanted to say it online because we didn't want people thinking that we had fallen out as friends and stuff. Because we obviously didn't. Like we, I literally love those freaking idiots. Like they're my family. Do you get me? But yeah, end of an era. And I'm glad you guys got to witness everything. I've got a lot of great videos coming up. And I'm also, I'm still in the process of moving out. Make sure you follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked in the description. And I have my new merch coming out soon. So by the time you're watching this, save your money. Because Christmas gonna be coming and my new merch is freaking lit like it's borderline merch and then a clothing line like it's actually so hard i can't lie so yeah look out for that i love you all so much and i'm gonna miss it i'm gonna miss it